Hello there folks, Funky Cook here, aka your Lonely Achievement Guide, continuing our Lawn Mowing Simulator Challenge coverage with Expert Challenge number 7, the Westwell, Westwell Tower Garden. This is the second most difficult challenge, uh, only behind Expert Challenge number 5 in my opinion, uh, now that they have added the string trimmers. Um, most of the times I have been able to complete this, I have done so with less than a minute left. The time crunch is real, there's no... I mean, there are tips I can give you, and you can follow along with me in the video, but the fact of the matter is that there's no easy way to get this done quickly. You are going to have to master uh, being quick with the string trimmer, uh, you're going to have to be able to optimize your mowing paths and make sure you're not wasting too much time. You're going to have to be good at managing your overloads despite uh, the fact that we are using a decent mower. You're still going to be overloading your engine a lot. Um, all of those skills kind of come together in this challenge and you're going to have to be able to do all of them in order to get it. So uh, I am going to be showing you how to get the challenge completed but keep in mind that uh, a lot of the things I do are, are things I've learned by putting, you know, probably over a hundred hours into this by the time with all the guides I've made and uh, my personal playthroughs, I've spent quite a bit of time mowing. So um, if, if you have any questions, as always, reach out to me. I'll, I'll do my best to answer them and give you any tips I can. Uh, but other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump in here and try to get this challenge done. Um, we only have 27 and a half minutes, and as I said, most of the time we're probably going to be finishing this with less than a minute left. So uh, don't dilly-dally, you don't have time to uh, mess around on this. You constantly need to be moving, constantly need to be cutting. Uh, and you only have a maximum fine of five currency, which is like four flowers. So be cautious when you're turning. Uh, so you don't turn too sharply and damage the ground. Um, and the other issue, of course, is flowers. Make sure you're not running into any flowers. Um, there aren't very many of them, but there are a few spots you need to be careful. Um, other than that, overloads are an issue. And uh, you need to be very careful not to leave grass behind. That's actually more important than uh, overloading your engine too much and getting engine damage. Leaving grass behind is very important because you you need a 99.9% .9 cut rating on this one. Um, I actually recommend being quite cautious with um, how you're edging when you get near flower beds. Uh, and we'll go over that in more detail when we're running through, but um, you just don't have the ability to leave grass behind on this. The lawn isn't that big, it's very long, but it's not a lot of grass to cut. So um, leaving behind even a little strip can and come back to bite you at the end if you're not careful and cautious on your first run. Um, and finally, there are uh, two statues and a fountain on this level. If you touch either of them with your mower, you instantly fail. So be very uh, thorough when you are edging them with the string trimmer so that you don't have to get close to the statues or the fountain with your uh, actual mower. Um, you can run into the walls with your mower. You'll take engine damage, and you can't do that very often. But it won't instant fail you, but the statues and the fountain will. So, sorry about the long preamble. There's a lot to go over, and this challenge is difficult. So let's go ahead and jump in, and uh, I will try to uh, give you tips and tricks as we go through the uh, lawn together. So immediately go and grab the string trimmer. We're going to be in sprint mode for a lot of this. Turn to your left and we're just going to run all the way along uh, this left edge here along the wall. We're moving fairly quickly but not so much that we're losing control. You need to make sure you're cutting up against the wall so you don't have to run into the wall. When you get over here, do some circles. Uh, some of the grass can be difficult to see because of how dark it is. And we're just going to continue on over uh, to this other side and continue along the path. Um, again, this wall has the little, uh, I don't know if, what they're 
called, but they're beams that stick out. So be cautious of those. Uh, try to pop out a little bit when you get to them so that you have a little bit more room uh, when you drive your mower along this section. And then, as always, be cautious when you get close to the flower bed so that you don't cut any of the flowers. Like here. Um, it's very dark, so it's very easy to accidentally cut a flower. Um, unfortunately, not a whole lot you can do about that. But we're just going to keep running along here. I think there's three or four flower beds along this section of wall, so... And it's just, the lighting isn't very good, so it's a bit, a bit annoying to uh, go across this section. Once you get the trimmers running and glass or grass starts flying, it can be difficult to keep an eye on where you are. So be cautious with these little plants and uh, do some wide circles here because um, the grass is actually separated there. And it can be difficult to get the mower uh, in. This is our last section along the wall. And we're going to reach the entrance here. Um, now we're going to run over and we're going to take care of the fountain. So get over here and do very wide circles. I recommend being in sprint mode. And uh, this is just a technique I've used. And doing so gets all of the grass and allows you to keep in constant motion without having to do laps. With that done, we're going to go over to the wall here and start edging. We're going to kind of angle ourselves so we can see uh, into the bushes better so that we don't end up cutting any flowers. Again, be cautious back here. Um, we've got a little wall there, so we do need to be careful. And we got a statue here, so do some circles around this statue so that you don't have to get close to it. And uh, same thing when you get to the tree. Just do circles around the tree because getting your mower back in here uh, is a pain. And you're not really going to have time to do that anyways. Again, when you get to the statue, make sure you do uh, circles in front of it. And we're just going to start uh, going up the path here. Do circles by the picnic bench, or park bench, whatever you want to call it. Get inside back over here, and continue on your way up. You want to try to get to the point almost where you're you're bumping those tiny bushes, but not uh, doing any damage to them, which can be difficult to, you know, to find the right... Sorry, it's difficult to concentrate and talk about my strategy. Um, it's just kind of a feel thing. Um, we got stuck on the park bench there when we were edging it, and that's going to happen when you're doing the hedges on the way down too. Um, don't worry about your weed eater. You're still cutting the grass, but you kind of hop up on the hedge and uh, you get stuck in it. So we're going to approach a flower bed here. Move your uh, weed eater off to the side when you get to the flower bed because you get stuck in it. And uh, if you're, you're just holding forward, you will run your weed eater into the flower bed and damage a flower. Uh, same thing will happen at the bottom here, although I don't know if there's a flower in this. So uh, that's why I moved my weed eater off to the right. And then we're going to do kind of a similar thing that we did before. We're going to angle ourselves to the right so we get a better view of where the grass and dirt edge is. 
because once we get to these bushes here, it can be difficult to stay on uh, the edge. As you saw there, I lost it. Even with doing this, I lost where the edge was, so... We've made it to the end, so do a little cut at the end. And now we're going to run back to the flower garden in the center. That's the only thing we haven't edged. And then we'll hop on the mower and start. So we're just going to do one pass around the flower bed here. And with that done, we're going to head back and get on the mower. Uh, we are going to cut using the left side of the mower. It does minimize uh, any penalties we might get from leaving uh, clippings behind, which are usually minimal. You do have a zero turn mower here, so we're going to make use of that as well. And we need a 650 cut height, so we'll get to 630. And uh, I accidentally changed my viewing angle, so we're going to start driving along. Uh, you can hit the wall as long as you don't hit it too fast you don't get penalized much but we did get a penalty there so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run all the way around and edge the outside of these first to get the more dangerous portion done uh, be cautious when you get to these flower beds that you don't run into them and damage any flowers and try to keep your speed up as you can see our penalties and fines are over halfway down because even though we're barely tapping the wall we are uh, still taking damage we only have five currency for fines uh, so even if it's a 50 cent fine when we touch the wall um, that's a good portion of our, you know, five currency allotment. It, it's very difficult to do this, though, so don't uh, stress out about it. With that edge, we're going to go right back into this first lawn that we were working on and work our way across. When you see spots where you overloaded the engine, just hop out and work on cleaning them up. Um, especially from that first lap, uh, you're likely going to have some spots you're overloading while you're working on edging, and it's better to focus on edging than uh, worry about overloading your engine. So we got our zero turn mower done, or uh, available, and we're going to be making good use of that. We made a bit, a uh, bit of a mistake there. In fact, we were overloading our engine for far too long. So before you move on, I recommend turning around and doing a, a quick um, pro view check behind you. Uh, that way. Y if you do get to the end of a challenge and you notice that you uh, there's grass you didn't cut, uh, just remember where you see it. We're not going to go back to get it right now, but if you notice any you know big chunks of grass that uh, you missed on your first passes, You want to remember that for the end of the run. In case you get to the end of the run 
and you didn't quite reach the 99.9 percent .9 cut percent uh, then if you know where some of the uh, chunks of grass you may have missed are you can immediately drive over them uh, to where they are we're going to divide each of these sections into its own uh, area to make it a little bit easier on us unfortunately they're just wide enough that you can't do them in an even number of passes so what I recommend doing is going slow enough so you don't overload your engine and then we're gonna make one more pass on the way back and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna jump over to the lawn on our right here to maximize our cutting so we're gonna jump over here and start cutting don't worry too much about the penalties just cut along the edge and when you reach the spot where you jumped out before jump back over and continue cutting that way you're maximizing uh, your time spent cutting which is very important those valuable seconds that we were turning around and we may have had to cut or drive across the lawn without cutting anything could you know spell doom for us at the end when uh, we're running out of time so again be very cautious of overloads because having to jump out to clean up any overloads you made or had before uh, takes time So we have to jump out to clean up that one. And we got another one here. And just like before, do a quick look behind you. There's a little bit there. We're not going to worry about it. But we are going to turn around and start cutting in this lawn again to make ourselves or get ourselves to the next section. So just like before, once you reach over here, we're going to jump back over. trying very hard not to overload our engine there. Um, the overloads really do cost you. And again, we'll turn around and start cutting along this lawn to make our or get us back to the other section. And this is our last section. So again, we're going to turn around and we'll cut along this edge. Um, and we're actually going to cut over to here and start working our way around the edge of this lawn. So once you get here, get around the tree and we're going to make our way up the hill back here. Uh, you do have a little natural resistance. Uh, as far as your top speed you can't go quite as fast going up the hill so you you don't have to worry about overloads as much going up the hill but when you come down the other side uh, then you'll have to go a bit slower than normal because uh, you'll be going faster than usual so just make your way around and now be very cautious on your way down the hill 
overloads on this section are uh, very likely and very annoying. So uh, be very uh, cognizant of your speed and making sure you don't overload. You can tell I'm, you know, tapping the accelerator on the way down. So we're going to turn around the corner here and we're going to make our way along the edge here. Um, we're actually going to turn our camera a bit so we have a better view of where we're driving through uh, the edge, just like we were having trouble with the string trimmer earlier. We want to make sure that we are getting all of the grass in these dark sections with our our mower. We've made it all the way to the end, so we're going to turn around. And this is where uh, having our making our passes earlier is going to help us. Um, we won't have near as much grass to cut on the way back. And if you do this properly, you can actually get most of this grass in one pass. Not all of it, but it means you can kind of keep your speed up on the way back. And again, just make sure that when you're going through, you're checking behind you to make sure that you're getting all the grass because having to come back is a bit of a annoyance. Okay, we got it all. So we're going to continue along the edge of the lawn here. Uh, we're going to make our way to the fountain, and the fountain is the last real challenge here, other than the time. Um, so what I recommend doing is actually going straight here and working your way around the fountain. Uh, move your camera all the way so that you can see where the edge of your vehicle is, so that you can get right up against it without hitting it. Um, because running into that will, as I said, instantly fail you. Uh, if you're more comfortable cutting with the left side, you can, you know, change your orientation and use the left side of the mower to cut that. But you cannot touch the fountain with your mower or you will fail. So uh, use whatever edge of the mower you're comfortable with and make your way around that fountain. We're going to work our way back up the hill again here. And again, be cautious of overloads uh, on the way up. You don't have to worry about it as much, but you still do. And we're going to have to make one more lap up the hill. As you can see, our overload meter is constantly being uh, near the limit, if not over it. So quick taps are how I get down and try to manage this. And we're going to jump out here and clean this up and then continue our lap. There's an overload that we didn't get earlier. Make our way here. Make sure you don't hit the fountain.
and we're going to cut this little section off right now and get it done with. And again, it's very dark, so don't be afraid to use your pro view over here if you're worried that you, you're missing grass. You don't have a lot of extra time to do that, but it's not a bad idea to make sure that you're, you're cutting everything. As you saw there, we kind of overloaded our engine and left some grass behind got turned around and the lawn is not as clearly defined in this section because of the darkness. So again, turn around. There are little tiny bits and pieces, but nothing that's really worth worrying about right now. So we're going to make our last lap around and uh, work our way up the hill for the final time. And do your best to cut as wide as possible so you don't have to make a third uh, run up the hill here. Um, you might have to go a little bit slower just to make sure that you don't overload your engine. But otherwise, on the way down, you need to make sure that you're getting everything. And unfortunately, that can be a pain. So we're going to just look behind us, make sure we're getting everything in the center. And again, Should be good now. At the very least, we've reached the end of the hill and we can get clean up the rest of that soon. We'll jump out to get that overload there. And we are going to cut off the flower bed here. and start working on this section. So we're going to finish off drive back over there and take care of that. We are getting close to crunch time as far as um, edging our lawn or I mean uh, finishing our lawn, excuse me. But we are making decent time. We're not great, but we should have enough time to finish this. It's going to be tight, though. So watch your overloads in this section. Um, 
because you don't want to have to leave or end up leaving any grass behind. It's quite important that you you get all of this grass cut on your first pass. We're probably going to have about 45 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds remaining when we finish this patch. So if you do have any uh, grass that you remember that you missed before, you can run off to get it if you have any percent uh, left on your progress. But there you go, we completed it with about a minute left. So you could still, uh, you know, use your pro view to run around and find some of the spots that we uh, missed and drive over them if you need to. Um, but at that point, that's basically all you can do. As I said, this is a tough challenge. Even with uh, how much experience I have, I'm regularly finishing it with less than a minute left. So. Also, be careful driving onto the ramp when you're done, because you can get a fine for uh, hitting the ramp. Um, driving onto it, or backing onto it, is actually safer. Uh, and if you want to do that, then switch into first-person mode so you can, li or uh, the third-person camera, so you have a camera over the top to make sure you back on properly. But as I said, if you have any questions or comments for me, you can reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, this is a tough challenge, so feel free uh, if you have any questions to ask them. I'll do my best to help you out to complete this challenge in any way I can. But uh, practice also makes perfect on this. So uh, that's all I got for you, folks. Uh, I hope it helps, and I will see you guys next time.